put all your family members in here. Tonight throughout South Florida, chaos as more residents race against time to escape Irma's wrath. Very concerned. Very concerned. On gridlocked highways, searching for gas that's becoming harder to find. At the bus station, passengers with tickets, but no buses. But they can't even give us an ETA on the buses. An estimated half million people heading to more than 40 shelters today. When you see the destruction in the Caribbean, do you now wish maybe you'd left? Yeah, I suppose so. Some people finding there's no more room. Hurricane Irma, with winds of 155 miles an hour, doubled the size of Florida's most destructive hurricane, Andrew, in 1992. We are running out of time. The storm is almost here. If you are in an evacuation zone, you need to go now. This is a catastrophic, catastrophic storm that our state has never seen. And coming with Irma, a deadly storm surge up to 12 feet. Southwest Florida could see the most flooding. In just six inches of water, a car engine stalls. Two feet and the car is floating. Three to six feet, life-threatening, in part because of everything floating in the current. At nine feet, the water is above the first floor. Despite the danger, some residents staying put, like Richard Chrysler, who made sure to secure all the boats at his marina club. I've got a gut feeling I haven't had before. This one is really scary. Some of the most vulnerable, the residents in trailer parks who cannot afford to leave. This is going to be all wiped out. Authorities detaining the homeless to protect them against the storm. Throughout the day, last minute shopping for crucial supplies. Police helping to manage out of control lines at this Home Depot. One man about to buy the last generator at the store, giving it up to a woman for her sick father's medical needs. An angel from God is what he is. Another urgent threat, the dike on Lake Okeechobee. 40,000 residents advised overnight, evacuate. Fears the dike could breach, causing Katrina-style flooding. In South Florida, trash collectors urgently picking up debris today that could turn into projectile missiles in hurricane-force winds. And at Zoo Miami, pink flamingos moved indoors. All 3,000 animals will shelter in place. Now with the storm less than 16 hours away, normal bustling coastal communities, including famed South Beach, virtual ghost towns. Kerry Sanders, NBC News, Miami. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.